Oolong Fallen Dynasty. Let's see if we can beat the demo. That's me. You like my teeth? Before we get to that, we need to die first. You see, the Yellow Turbans has ravaged this village, and we are part of the troop who comes in to stop the damage. This, right here, is me. And this is where we die. Lucky for us, the only man who can resurrect us is the one we just saved. And now finally that we have died and come back to life, we can create our character to look exactly the way we want it. We can get really in-depth and customize pretty much everything on the body that we feel like. There's also a couple options for grunting and screaming. The main gist of the combat is parrying. And that was the cue, my dude. Come on. Hit me. Hit me, damn it. There we go. It wouldn't be a decent game at all if there wasn't any stuff to loot. Let's see here. Enemy critical blow. Cannot be guarded. Blah, 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 blah. Ah, we should be fine. The whole combat system is a little different what I'm used to. By killing baddies and raising these flags, we raise our morale, which is the number above our and our enemies' health bars. We can also do a bunch of cool assassinating stuff if we're sneaky. You rude son of a bitch. One doesn't simply stab me and get away with it. Okay, never mind. He got away with it. If we get killed, then kill the guy that killed us. <laughs> okay, that was a lot of killing. But if we manage to do that, we get the revenge prompt that I don't yet fully understand, but it's pretty cool. Oh shit, this demon tiger thing is level 15. There is but one way to do this. A well-planned sneak attack. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> okay, so dodge, parry, dodge, dodge, dodge. Dead. Coming at you with full power now, tiger demon. Take this. <laughs> Who would have thought that blocking was a good idea? Oh no, what is he doing? Oh god. Aha, there we go, some badass ninja techniques. I am feeling it now, the endorphins are kicking in and we're feeling good. Blocking, parrying, blocking and parrying like a train that can't stop. Josh, <laughs> what happened? Did we get him? That's so freaking badass. Oh no, he's not dead. I think our little helper got him. This is the face of a killing machine. The General's Garb is our reward for killing that foul beast of a creature. Ah oh, yeah, it is a Souls game. What do you mean, my reaction? She has a stone face like no other. Even putting a flag down is badass in this game. What do we have here? A dude on the left and some weird zombie-looking things down there. Zombie slaying is my second best skill after destruction of over-leveled demon tigers. Face my silver. Apparently we can do martial arts. Let's try it out. Well, that was absolutely useless. <laughs> he just powered armored right through it. But you can't kill me that easily. Looks like an archer. Let's deal with him first. Can I pop up a flag in combat? Huh, seemingly I can. Small flag. What are you doing? Come back here. <laughs> he has the same jump as I have. I thought I was special. Well. Now to take out the leader! I've really been enjoying the combat so far. It has a very different flow from other RPGs and feels super rewarding. And I will never get tired of doing that. When it comes to the gear, I have to admit, it looked and still looks confusing with all the various elements and special effects, and I am also not 100% sure yet on how the weight plays in a lot of this, besides doing ninja-style flips or just rolling. That is probably something one gets used to the more you play. With the enemy captain's flag stolen, we can now level up. We do so by putting points into one or several of the various elements. They all have passive effects, for example wood gives more HP than the rest, and fire gives more spirit on attack. After doing so, we get access to wizardry spells. Now, maybe not that, but a bunch of different shit tied into their own elemental talent tree. I never played any of the Neo games, but I did play a bunch of Dynasty Warriors when I was younger. Shang Liang turned into some sort of Giga Chat in comparison to his old self. 
Getting right into it, huh? I like it. We are both level 10, so let's say that we're equal in this fight. The good old blocking into parry works like a charm. Against anything but that. That's cheating. Let's try that again, shall we? Uh, who got you? Oh, and again? Oh man, my blind friend got him first. I swear I would have had that. Is this it? Was it all that you could master, Saruman? I mean, Sheng Liang. Hey man, no doping allowed. Am I the only one following the rules here? Whoa! Oh, bye, dude. Wizard eyes, get him! Can't say that I tried all the spells out, but that one sure seemed useless. He's not even trying to block anymore. We'd be getting some sweet damage in. Oh man, that was awesome. Kick the dragon stare down like it was nothing. They always say that you shouldn't kick people on the ground, but we are slas in, so it doesn't apply here. Oh wait, that's not good. We're out of ninja juice. We need to be careful here. Said it before, but I'm saying it again. The combat is absolutely fantastic. Oh god, I'm dead. I am so dead. Actually not dead? How am I still alive? We're gonna have to clutch this out with no HP to speak up. Wait a minute, what is that? I did it! Can't believe I killed him on my first try! Good job, blind friend, dude! Oh no, Licky Tongue is here. I've got no idea what's happening, but that guy turned into a dragon. I was a bit late on the Wulong demo, but I got zero regrets. This game is looking awesome. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to sub for more videos in the future. Bye.